tuning into the Dope Vision Experience Podcast. It's your boy Frank Needy. I'm back for another episode, man. But this week is gonna be something different, man. I've been trying to been waiting for this show to pop off, man. I linked up with my guy Wallace. We're gonna talk about this new sure. series that we've been digging, you know, with John Singleton. You know, rest in peace of John Singleton. He gave us a monster. You know, we we wonder how the show is gonna continue to go. You know, we finally got the first two episodes tonight. Man, this show that I'm talking about, Snowfall, we're going to do, you know, I'm going to be doing a weekly recap of the show. You know, I'll probably bring Wallace on sometimes, and sometimes it's probably just going to be, my, be by myself. So it just depends on, you know, how I'm feeling, and, and if my guy's up to it, we probably do a little bit more uh, recaps of this, this particular season. So, man, Wallace, just go ahead and, you know, I know you've been on the podcast before, but I just want you to introduce yourself and let everybody know who you are and what you're up to, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. This is Wallace, man. I'm a... Uh... Man, just out here, just man, I can't can't wait for this snowfall to start, man. Uh, man, super juiced about it, man. Came on, man. I, I had it recorded, everything, man. You know, I had to let it go for, go for about forty five minutes, maybe an hour, so I can speed through it, man. But yeah, man, I'm just I'm just out here, just trying to live 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 my best life, as they say, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> Right, man, so we we're just gonna go ahead and kick this off, man. We're gonna try to make it as quickly as possible. You know, I know we had the first two episodes, so it gave us a two hour premiere, which is something I really enjoy. You know, I, I like when they make make these episodes longer, man, because you know sometimes they try to give you these thirty minute shows, but this show, man, you know, this is one of those shows that I think is gonna be around for a while. You know, John, John Singleton gave us some some classic music to go with these shows. The cinematography on this show is really dope, and just to come off into the just to start off this new season, is kind of see Franklin, you know, not as strong as he normally would because he got those three slugs put on him by mail in the last season. You know, and kind of see that the empire is kind of crumbling without him and kind of see how um, the family is kind of, you know, having some, you know, some trust issues with one another. They're kind of beefing with one another over the situation with Franklin. And we kind of kick the season off just seeing what this, the power struggle that the whole um, L.A. is basically going through now. The crack is kind of hitting the scene and there's a power struggle in, in uh, California. So, you know, we kicked off when we kind of see see him and the uncle and see the see his um his 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 aunt you know and then see his mom and dad they kind of all in, in the episodes and we, we actually kick it off with you know we're seeing him trying to get back on his feet uh what how'd you feel on, on the first couple of scenes in the show man uh the first couple of scenes like i said was interesting uh like you were saying because uh like i said he was trying to get his bearings right he he still you know he just he's barely walking on the cane you know, he's still, hey, he's still shook. He's still shook, you know, like you said, because Mel put them slugs in him. So he's still shook, but he know, you know, uh, he can't he can't sit on the sideline for too much longer because, uh, hey, shit to hit the fan. Stuff that got crazy. Uh, he can't sit on the sidelines for too much longer. He trying to, he trying to reel everything back in. You know, Franklin, right? He always felt like he could fix it. I can fix it. I got it, you know, but... Things have got out of hand. Things have definitely got out of hand now that you know everybody's fighting over territory. You got man boy and yep. going back and forth. Um, I think uh, I think man boy has a, has a Compton lock. Got the company um, area locked up. Yeah. And I think yeah. man boy is over in Inglewood, so they're basically fighting over territory. They're killing one another. And no, no, no. Man boy is in Compton. Man boy is in Compton, and yeah, Scully's in uh. Inglewood. Inglewood, yeah, so, yeah, and so they're trying to, you know, they're fighting over territory. They're killing each other, and Franklin's kind of come back on the scene. He's trying to, you know, trying to piece it up with him, but it's not working out good. How are you seeing? How are you seeing that relationship and that dynamic? It's kind of in the beginning. How did you think that was going to play out? Man, uh, man, you know what? But what's crazy? Before I go there, you know what's crazy? I think what make it was making it hard for Franklin too is like, not only is he trying to keep everything cool with Scully and Man Boy. They fight internally, like you said earlier. You got his moms and pops not talking to his uncle Jerome, and 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 and, and uh, uh, Lu, what's her name, Louis, Lou, Louis, the auntie, uh, Louis, something like that. Friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, friend, yeah, yeah. So they not even, you know, they not, they not, they not cool. So it's like, frankly, can't even go to them as a whole and be like, hey, we need to come together, but. So like and, and so he's trying to deal like you said he's trying to deal with Scully and Man Boy, and man he he's man to me he came off scary and they see it, yeah they see it I think Man Boy see it Scully know damn well that they scared of him, yeah. you know 
they can see that he's not, you know, saying normally his sharp self like he normally would be. They see it because he go he go to the funeral and he trying to piece it up with Scully and try to get him Scully to, Scully to squash it. He's like, man, how do you expect mm-hmm. me to squash something? He just killed my boy and all the situation. And then he try to go over to try to go to man boy, try to get man boy to squash it. And he's trying to do like the mm-hmm. most, you know, the most logical thing. But he don't understand this is the streets. Like once a life and blood been shit, dog, there ain't no yeah. really squashing it, bro. Like we got it. You got it. You got to get eye for eye. And he doesn't really mm-hmm. kind of see that. He see the business side of it, but he don't see the street side of it. And I think that's the part yeah. that's missing in the whole scheme of things. He's all about the business. He's like, let's keep making the money. Let's keep pushing his product. Let's keep getting, getting his bread. But they're like, nah, bro, what's happening on the streets is my boy's getting taken out. I got to get back. I got to get my payback for that. And I don't think he kind of see that whole dynamic that's happening. He's all about the money and all about the business. Yeah, he's all about the money. And he's not that guy. Yeah. He's not that type of guy. Like, frankly, even though he might have, remember, frankly, moms went to work. She was, a, she was, a, she was a working woman. She, she stayed. I don't say say she stayed in a nice house, but it was, it was a house <laughs> in the neighborhood. Yep. What he messed up was, who was always holding everybody off of Franklin ass was Leon. Leon. Leon was in the, in the streets, in the projects, and, and Leon didn't play. You know what I mean? And. and them cats knew. Man, boy, always just kind of like, man, that nigga Leon crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because even when you go back to season one, when Leon got the first body, you know, and they was out, they was out, yeah, in the, out in the out in the woods. I won't say out in the woods, but it was out on the, in, that, in that field out there. That's when you yeah. know, when the first body, they were trying to decide who's gonna get the body. And Leon kind of like, I got it. He took care of it, so I let him know right. Yeah. He was the muscle. Yep. Yeah. And, and so, and when, so when, and when we saw when, when we saw when he went to go talk to Leon, and Leon's like, you know, Leon's kind of sprouted up a little bit, letting him know, like, look, man, I ain't your driver no more, bro. Like, you know, on my head, I got the projects on lot. I'm doing my thing. Yeah. I'm not gonna go back to that, man. I'm trying to be my own king, and and yeah. that didn't quite register in in uh, into Franklin's head. He thought that he was gonna be able to mm-hmm. come back, get him back on the squad, get him back up on his wing, be his muscle. And he's like, yeah. I'm trying to be my own king around here. I got my own thing going. Yep, yep. He tried to. He thought Leon was always gonna be. What they remember? What he's called him, Lil Lee, Lil Lee, Lil Lee. Nah, he ain't Lil Lee no more. You know, and yeah. and that's how he kept trying to play him. You know, even back in the day, cause you don't like the way a nigga talk. You know, drive me, man. Lee, Leon was like, bro, you, you can't do that to me no more. Really, you know, man. Frankly, you know who I am. You know what I mean? You know, I put I put these hands on you if I had to, but you family, so I'm not gonna do it. And you supplying the product. Yep, and so he the plug, and then we kind of see he trying to get back in action. He goes to the club where his auntie is, and she kind of show him the books and the work, and you know what I'm saying, showing mm-hmm. him all the different things. And then he goes to have a meeting with his plug, and he's trying to talk to Reed, and Reed kind of let him know, like, look, man, I can help you with a lot of different things, but with this situation, I'm not gonna be yeah. in war. I'm not gonna be able to help you with this. But then he breaks down a story, that basically telling him about you know, a possible cute a coup that took place that they kind of put somebody in place. To kind of they be able to uh, control, and that's what he tried. Yeah. That's when I get he gave he came up with the idea to try to you know say hey look we got we got to do something about this. So I'm gonna set both of them up, and then we're gonna try to go ambush and they come up with this cockamamie plan that he thinks gonna work, but he's not really thinking the whole situation through. He panicking, he panicking, panicking. Yeah. Man, because he's seeing all the bloodshed being on, on in the papers, on the news. He know it's drawing a lot of attention, and he know it's not gonna stop because man, boy, it's not gonna stop, and Skull is not gonna stop, especially when you see yep. how he grabbed his boy up, and that was kind yeah. of cold. I, hey, that was cold blooded how he went scooped his boy up. Scoop, man, I I knew it was. Hey, you could see it when he when she, when he went outside with baby. I said, oh, it's over. They got him. Got him. He he. Yeah. He thinking with a dick, not thinking about what's going on, bro. You're in the middle of a war, man. You can't just be popping up with these random chicks and going out there yeah. just trying to showing you some attention. You know she finna give you some head and all that. That thing, yep. you hit him over. He opened up his eyes, peekaboo. That yep. thing hanging up on a cross in the in the cross. Base. Put him in the basement, man. Man, yeah, and this and this and this on, man, and this on like now, now, now. Uh, Franklin, now Franklin in the crosshairs with uh with a uh, whole with the whole Scully. question and then leon try to tell me like man man stay out of that man that, you know what i'm saying uh, um i got i got this over here we doing this let them let them handle that man and this and, and leon try to tell him like about the street life like look man you yeah. know that's that's street you know what i'm saying that's that's what they're doing they're going to go back and forth best thing you could do just keep supplying them and stay out the way 
you know, and, and he like, nah, man, we gotta we gotta take care of this. And he trying to be the mm. peaceful one about, hey, look, well, if I can go squash you so we can just try to keep making money. But Leon like, nah, dog, like he being, and that's the real, that's the being the real, that's, that's being real about the situation. He like, look, man, it's street stuff. You can't change this. This is the way it's going down. It's been blood. Yeah. Been so you gotta, de- you gotta just deal with this, man. You put this product out in the street, people hungry. And he trying to explain it to him, but frankly, not really registered. He just think that because he got the product, he got the plug and people making money that he gonna be able to, you know what I'm saying, control the situation when he's been off his feet for, you know, a period of time. Yeah, and he, and he, and yeah, he been off his feet and he never knew that side. Like, Leon, that was, that's, Leon noticed that street light. Leon yeah. know how it goes. And he's like, he's trying to tell him, yo, stay out of that. Yep. You got, they're not going to listen to your, you, you talking, your your philosophies. They're they, they not listening to none of that. Especially Scully, Scully putting that putting that shit in his ear but i would never try to talk to that dude man he is no talking to him man man wow bro wow and then what do you think about how how you know you can see the whole dynamic of just scully man boy and then franklin and his crew but then you see a whole different dynamic when you see what a plug bringing in the dope you seeing how reed getting trapped up in tijuana you know they got him and gustavo they got their little situation going on where they trafficking you know the bricks from uh, mexico and now they getting jammed up down there you know, because they, you know, they talk about they bring avocados, they get jammed up because there's a new police chief in town or whatever. And now they got to pay the toll through this guy. So you can see a different dynamic. And I like how they show like different aspects of the show. They just don't show, you know, L.A. They in the trap and they trying to, you know, they just slanging the dope or whatever. They showing like where it's coming from. Like what is, what is this supplying? Like, you know, he's supplying yeah. guns to these other trees. They're giving him dope and he using the dope to funnel through, you know, LA and, and the US and then using that money to funnel the, the war in other parts of the country. So, you know, I like the different aspects of the show and I like how um, that John Singleton did that. You know, he just didn't show us just the one, you know, most of the time we get these drug shows yeah. they kind of just show you just one aspect of the show. But I like 